lost the team. Um, I did it by myself. You know, I have to get out and figure out how to make those plays. Um, you know, if they put it so what? Well, you know, I have to make the play too. After how well you guys played the last month, you know, how do you how do you explain this? Um, talked a lot about this defense coming in. I mean, did they do anything that caught you guys by surprise, or was that what you had seen on film as you all were preparing for them? No, I mean, everything that they threw at us, you know, we uh, saw on film all week. Um, same stuff they did before State, and it was awesome and stuff. Same defense. Um, we just didn't do a good job executing you know, too many mistakes you know, on all our parts. But you know, I, mean, you know, I take ownership of this, too. Same question I asked uh, Brad. Did you say anything to, to everybody? And if you did have the team in front of you, kind of what was your message to everybody right now? Uh, I did say something actually. Well, after the game, we was in the locker room. I told the team, you know, uh, we got a scene like, coming up next week. And forget about the scenes. So let's try to do it for Coach Gold. Uh, he always put the team on his back and uh, never pinpoint anybody. We need to just go out and do it for him. If we want to do it for nobody else, let's do it for Coach Gold. Get up and say anything like that? No, I mean, it was it was very emotional. You know, everybody was feeling what I was saying. And um, we just broke it down after that. Why did you feel that was important to play for Coach Golden next week? Because, man, he that's a great coach. Uh, he wanted as bad as we do. And every single week, you know, if we come up short, he never points the finger at no player. He always takes the blame. And I feel like it's... Like it's time for the players to start taking the blame and just go out and lay it on the line, folks. In your eyes, what happened tonight after after playing so well you know, for the last you know, however many however many weeks, five weeks? In your eyes, what went wrong tonight? <clears throat> um, I'll say, man, just like certain plays, you know. We got a great, like, we can have a great play call, and they can have a great defensive play call. And the players just got to make the play. I mean, if the, if the defender make a great play on the, on the offensive player, then, you know, it's a bad play on the offense. So, just got to make plays, man. And we ain't making no plays. We came up a couple of plays short. Denzel, uh, what's, your, what's your impression of what happened out there tonight? Uh, man, pretty much, uh, you know, the defense, you know, I played our defense today. You know, so, uh, Come to this game, you know, they had a great defense, and uh, you know, one defense to goes, you know, and us, you know, always outplayed our team defense. Like, you know, the day they outplayed us. Is that surprise you after how well you guys been playing? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know, like we've been playing pretty well, but at the same time, you know, we've been having mistakes, and you know, guys kept off, uh, capitalized off our mistakes, and you know, that's pretty much what they did today. Penalties, I mean, was that kind of yeah, man? Uh, the team with least penalties, no win the ball. We had a bunch today, and uh, you know, we're not too happy with that. You know, I know Coach not too happy with that. You know, he preached that all week for us to be ourselves. What were your, you know, did you have any message to the team in the locker room as one of the leaders? Uh, I mean, you know, Clyde pretty much, you know, just, just set it off. You know, uh, you know, it's time for us to you know, take blame and, you know, get the load off of us going. You know, uh, like Clyde said, you know, he always, you know, get up here you know, in front of y'all, you know, tell them, you know, so I was on the coach, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's when us, you know, we got to, you know, make the plays. And, how tough is it when you guys? I know you do. You try your best to block out the noise. But how tough is it when you hear people criticizing your coach the way they do after a loss? For me, you know, I, I take it real personal because you know a lot of people, you know, they just look from outside in. You know, they like really don't know what's going on. You know, uh, <clears throat> like you know they don't, like you know outsiders know they think they know football. You know that that really you no know, gets them. Mm -hmm. You know, like, whether it's family, you know, friends, or you know just you know just normal fans like you know that like that kind of stuff. But they like, criticize the coach, but literally they know. That they put us in a great situation to make plays. What about you, Clive? How much does it bother you when you hear that stuff? I mean, I feel the same as Denzel. Like, <clears throat> you got a lot of people that think they know football looking from the outside in that don't really know all the hard work and dedication that goes into, like, calling certain plays and doing certain things. And um, me personally, I think Coach Golden is a great coach. You know, he always puts us in the right situation. 
to come up and win the game. But it ain't on the coaches, you know. The coaches coach and the players play. So the players have to actually get out there and win the game. So for anybody that's going to say this week what we know is coming, you know, on Twitter to us and stuff, that Coach Golden didn't have you guys ready to play, what would your response to that be? Well, yeah, we have to, I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, for us, we have to take it upon ourselves to be ready to play. I mean, Coach Golden, he, I mean, he can say all that he must say to us, and if we don't listen or if, if, if we don't prepare ourselves personally, then that's on us. I mean, Thank you.